Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Goen. In our today's video, we will talk about the Cartesian coordinate plane or yung ibang tawag dito is rectangular coordinate system. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So what can I say about the Cartesian coordinate plane? So you may wonder, bakit siya Cartesian? So ito kasi yan. Uh, yung proponent nito, yung taong nag-device itong Cartesian coordinate plane o ng rectangular coordinate system ay si René Descartes. Pero yung ibang is yung ibang sudyante, they are reading that name as René Descartes. So, let's start with the parts of this Cartesian coordinate plane coined or proposed by René Descartes. Now, here are the parts na pag-uusapan natin. We have the origin, x-axis, y-axis, quadrants, x-coordinate, and y-coordinate. Let's start with the origin. The origin of a Cartesian coordinate plane is itong center. Yung intersection ng dalawang number line na nakikita nyo ngayon. Ito siya. Okay? Let's put a label. So, this is your origin. Now, yung origin natin, ang kanilang ordered pair o yung kanilang coordinates ay 0, 0. Remember ha, when your teacher asks you about the origin, sabi mo nilang, it is the intersection between the two number line, the two number lines in a Cartesian coordinate plane. Okay? So, let's move on with the next part. Part natin is yung x-axis. Ito yung ating x-axis. Your x-axis is the horizontal number line. So, lagyan natin dito, horizontal number line. Now, as you can see, yung number line natin dito, horizontal, or yung x-axis natin, are normal is the normal ano, number line where in on the left side you have the positive integers on the right on the left side we have the negative integers and on the right side you have the positive integers tapos yung center niya is 0 okay now let's move on with the y axis yung atin ng y axis if your x is the horizontal your y naman is the vertical so, this is your y-axis. Same lang naman to, pinatayo or naka-vertical form lang siya na number line. Yung upper numbers niya are the positive integers, and the lower numbers are the negative integers, and still, the center is zero. Now, continuous yung mga axis natin, guys, eh, because it has the arrowheads and it will extend infinitely. Okay? We have here the vertical number line. Next, is yung quadrants natin. As you can see, nung nag-intersect yung ating dalawang number, uh, number lines o yung axis natin, X and Y, nagkaroon tayo ng four different parts. We have here 1, 2, 3, and 4 sa ating Cartesian coordinate plane. Ngayon, nasan sila? Anong tawag natin dyan? Ang mga tawag natin dyan ay quadrants. Okay? This is your quadrants. Ito naman, yung quadrants natin, May mga numbers sila, starting from quadrant number 1, 2, 3, 4. And yung pagbibilang sa kanila ay counterclockwise. Okay, counterclockwise pa ganun eh. Counterclockwise. Counterclockwise direction. This is your quadrant number 1. This is your quadrant number 2. This is your quadrant number 3. And this is your quadrant number 4. Ganun yung pag-name ng ating quadrants. Okay? So ngayon, sa ating quadrants, later on, meron tayong pupuntahan dyan. May, magbibigay ko sa inyo yung tip about this. Punta naman tayo sa ating x-coordinate and y-coordinate. In Cartesian coordinate plane, meron tayong tinatawag na ordered pairs. Okay? Ang ating ordered pairs ay denoted by x, y. Ito yung general form na na. Yung x natin is the x-coordinate o yung absisa. Yung ating y-coordinate is yung tinatawag natin ordinate. Ngayon, example, kung hapansin nyo yung origin natin, ba? Yung numbers ng origin na 0, 0 is an ordered pair wherein your x-coordinate is 0, your y-coordinate is 0. Pero, let's have another example. Let's try 5, 2. 
Okay? Here, your x coordinate is 5. Your 2 is called the ordinate or yung y coordinate nyo. Sir, paano po yan? Let's try plotting 5 comma 2. Ito tayo, ha? 5 comma 2. 5 and 2. Ito siya. Ba't siya tinawag na x coordinate because it is perpendicular to your 5 in the x-axis. Ito siya. Gawa tayo ng broken line dito. Okay? Next, bakit siya tinawag na y-coordinate? Because it is coordinated with the value of 2 in the y-axis. Okay? So, ito siya. 5, comma 2. We will discuss, or we will create another video discussing on how to plot points in a Cartesian coordinate plane. So, again, in mga parts natin importante, origin, x-axis, ito siya, y-axis, yung vertical, quadrants, we have 0, 1, uh, quadrant number 1, quadrant number 2, quadrant number 3, and quadrant number 4. And with regards to the coordinates of a Cartesian plane in a quadrant, meron tayong mga signs na sinusunod. Pag quadrant number 1, ang sign nito is positive, comma, positive. Kapag naman quadrant number 2, this is negative, comma, positive. Yung quadrant number 3 naman natin, ang sign ng kanyang ordered pairs ay negative, comma, negative. Kapag naman quadrant number 4, that is positive and negative. Lahat ng yan ay nakabase kung saan ang parts sila ng x-axis. Example ito. Yung quadrant number 1 natin is positive and positive because yung kanyang x-axis na numbers or integers ay positive. While naman sa y, lahat ito ay positive. So, sa quadrant number 3, as you can see, di ba nauna si x? Sa x-axis natin, lahat ng numbers ay negative. Sa y-axis natin, ay negative. So, same concept lang yan guys. Kapag hinihingi sa inyo yung ano, yung quadrants o yung sign ng bawat coordinates. Now, para mas maging deeper yung understanding nyo about that, let me give you this. Okay? Let's have this activity. Sabi sa ating activity, identify the quadrant of each given point. Now, we are given points here. Identify lang natin quadrant, ha? Remember, ating ating quadrant number 1 na merong positive, positive. Ito yung ating quadrant number 2 with negative, comma, positive. Quadrant number 3 which is negative, comma, negative. And then quadrant number 4 which is positive, comma, negative. Now, pag nakabisado nyo to, you can easily identify the quadrants of these points. Let's start with number 1. We have 5 and negative 2. 5, negative 2 is located at quadrant quadrant number 4. Sir, bakit po? Because we have here positive and negative. Sir, what about number 2, 6, 4? Since the two coordinates are both positive, automatic, that is located at your quadrant number 1. Hindi natin siya ipaplata kasi meron tayong separate video on how to plot points. Next, quadrant number, th uh, number 3, we have negative 5 comma negative 3. As you can see, the two integers or the two coordinates are both negative, meaning that is located at your quadrant number 3. For number 4, negative 7 comma 1, as you can see, the first one is positive, or the x is positive. Ah, sorry, the x is negative, and the y is positive, meaning that is located at your quadrant number 2. So, kung i-plot nyo yan, guys, uh, bakit, ba, ano ba yung importance nito mismong, ano, mismong ginagawa natin dito? It will help you to know kung saan siya located na quadrant kapag nag-plot kayo ng points. Magandang ano siya, magandang exercise siya, guys. Okay, let's continue with number 5. For number 5, uh, we have 0, 5. Ngayon, 
Ito medyo tricky to, pero don't be confused about this. Yung 0,5 natin, di ba, this is your x. And this is your y. Now, yung x natin is dito, 0 siya. Yung y natin is 5. Kung ipa-plot natin siya, nandito siya nakalagay, guys. As you can see, it is bit it is located between, okay, between quadrant number 1 and quadrant number 2. So, what will be the answer here? Is it quadrant number 1 or quadrant number 2? No. Since, kung mapansin nyo, uh, 0, 5 lies on the y-axis and to be specific, sa mismo positive side ng y-axis, ang sagot natin dito is positive y-axis. Kapag ganyan, eh. Kasi ano yun, eh. Nasa mismong, ano siya, axis. So, y-axis siya, kaya siya positive y-axis. So, I hope guys you learned something from this video on how to identify the different parts of our Cartesian plane and on how to identify the quadrants of a given ordered pair para matulungan kayo sa pag-plot ng points sa ating next video. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit mo na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!